Battleground Toronto now, where Olivia Chow is taking off the gloves in her bid to knock incumbent Toronto Mayor Rob Ford from his perch. Our friend and political strategist Lisa Kirby joins us now. And uh, Lisa, great to see you. And we're going to hear this the, the new ad that has debuted in just a second. But let me ask you sort of the setup for this a little bit. It is at the beginning of the summer. We're not going to see the vote until in the fall. We know that Mayor Ford's coming back on the job next week. And I'm wondering about timing here. If you can explain maybe this little more aggressive tone we saw from Olivia beginning on Sunday night. She talked about the Rob Ford circus. Do we take it as... Is she worried? Is she seeing some polling numbers that says she needs to do a little more attacking the incumbent? Yeah, you were introing this segment as you know, Olivia's attack ads. You know, we consider it more of a public service to Torontonians to prepare, <laughs> prepare them for Rob Ford's inevitable return. And he is returning in six days from now. And he does attract a lot of media attention. And he's likely to come back you know, a bit slimmer and he's going to look a bit better. And he's going to talk uh, probably a bit. I would hope a bit better than he had been before, but he is still a threat and the, he has a, a great deal of support. We consider him to be our main appoint, opponent in this election. Mm -hmm. And you know, John Tory, Karen Stentz and David Sucknacki, very nice people, but they can't beat Rob Ford in October. The only person who can do that is Olivia. And these ads are kind of a, you know, a cheeky way to remind everyone that he's coming back. And I just want to point out he's coming back after uh, World Pride wraps up here in Toronto. So again, he missing. can't embarrass you on that one, right? Is yeah, it? Well, yeah, <laughs> but again, he'll do anything possible not to show up for the Pride Parade, and we've seen that for years now. But he is coming back on Monday, and we expect it'll be Rob Ford all the time. So it was a public service we did, David. Well, I just tweeted out the link. If you go to my Twitter feed, uh, twitter.com slash David Aiken, you can find a link. You can listen to both ads. We've got time to play one of them. I think this is the funnier of the two. This is, this is a, a, uh, the public service message, as Lisa calls it, uh, done in sort of a monster truck show coming to your town style. Listen to this ad. It's back. back. The most distracting show on earth is returning to Toronto. Toronto. Rob Ford. Rob Ford. Incredible errors in judgment. Billion dollar budget lies. Watch him drag your city's reputation through the morgue. See Big John Tory in incredible flip-flopping action. So brace yourself for one Rob Ford summer. And remember that this fall, you can vote for Olivia Chow and put Rob Ford behind us for good. I'm Olivia Chow. I can beat Rob Ford, and I endorse this message. Now, now Lisa, the bit that had me really the killer there was the C. John Tory flip-flops. You got it all in there. Listen, let, let me ask you a more serious question. It is kind of funny, brought a smile on the face, but I thought, well, wait a minute. Here's a poor guy in rehab, Rob Ford. He, I know he's been out talking to the media. He's been phoning our guys up at the Toronto Sun, uh, giving his line of things. But he really isn't campaigning actively. Is it fair to sort of take some shots at Rob Ford when he's not out there doing the campaigning? Well, the ads don't cross any line. And you mentioned that Doug Ford has been kind of campaigning in, in lieu of his brother being around. And, and mm -hmm. Ford himself has been in, in constant contact almost with various media, including you know, social media. And he's been in contact with reporters by, by telephone and by email. So, you know, and we've always said, Olivia Chow and her campaign team has always said, we want Rob Ford to get better. It's good for him and it's good for his family. But he still won't be a good mayor for Ontario. By now, all Torontonians and in fact the world are fully aware of Rob Ford's history of, of sexist, bigoted, homophobic, racist comments. And there is no uh, rehab to cure that. So we do want him to get healthy. These ads don't speak to rehab at all. But it is alerting everyone that he will be back in six days. And we fully expect that there will be mass media coverage with everything that he does. Now, I think you may be right. Lisa Kirby, let's make sure you're back in next week when Rob Ford comes <laughs> to town. All right. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome.